mission on. Today is Monday. I've had a long weekend. I didn't work all last week. Went out Friday night for one of my mates 30th. Writ off. I'd work Saturday night and then just spent all yesterday, which was just feeling sorry for myself. Recovery mode. Just basically sat on the on the sofa all day watching Harry Potter, as you do. <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to go fishing yesterday, but what, you can't take things too seriously, especially this time of year, you know, if anyone knows me, I definitely don't take it too seriously in the winter. Um, not some fishing, obviously, yeah, but a day here or there, lost. You know, I, I wouldn't have been any use to myself or the fish yesterday. <laughs> uh, not trying to play the old violin, but Wow, when it rains, it pours. I've had all sorts going on. I've, um, what have I done? Oh, without getting too personal, but yeah, I've had, I've had some, some stuff going on, and uh, fishing's probably the best place for me at the minute, you know? Go and get out of the way, get some fishing done, take your mind off things. But yeah, heading down to the Bolton Lake, Reading. Uh, that's the plan anyway. I'm pretty flexible, to be fair, but I have been prepping things down there, so I'm just going to rock up back there. Yeah, I've got to go and get all my stuff so I ain't got anything ready. I'm gonna go and get some maggots now, I'm gonna go and get some food, got a few walk, got to do loads of stuff uh, before I head down. But I'm hoping I should get there for about one o'clock. Gives me a few hours to mooch around, get in a peg, get some rod sorted and that. It's a good time to be setting off. I was gonna set off in the night last night, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna have a nice, nice sweep, charge up and head down there. So this is a swim on the old bolting right that I've been doing a bit in. Yeah, basically there's a zone out there. Someone's definitely playing funny business with these boys out here because that boy was definitely in line with them poppers last week. So over the weekend, something's definitely happened to that, that boy. This seems to definitely the most likely area so far. I'm gonna do another lap in no rush. Like I said, I can get these rods sorted in the dark if, if need be. But yeah, basically there's a zone out here, bit of a bar area. And as that bar sort of declines at the end of it there's a nice sort of deep zone just in line with them sort of pop was there drops to about nine nine and a half feet and it's a real nice zone i'll tell you a little bit later on about what i've been up to in that zone and what's happened on it so far he is in the swim rocking rods are pretty much ready to go just got to put a couple of heads on the spots, just make sure that they're clear. Got one straight out and one off here around to the right. I've been, I haven't actually fished this one to the right. I've put bait on it a few times, but I haven't fished it yet. Yeah, I'm just going to put a lead out oh, the exact same distance, and that's just luckily. Um, and it really helps, that does actually. But yeah, two spots. Uh, they're from two different standing points as well, but just going to put a lead on each and see what they're like. Hopefully they're still clear, but you know, regardless, I think you've still got to put them. I think you've still got to put them leads on them spots just to be sure. So let's do that now. I am massively in a rush now. Spots are all sweet though. Just tying some fresh rigs. Get the rods wrapped up. Get them out. As long as I get the rods out before dark, I'll be happy. Time is now. Just just gone four o'clock. I reckon it'll be totally dark by what about twenty to five now. I mean. About uh, five o'clock really, but twenty to five, you're pushing it. So I am in a rush. <laughs> oh, 
literally so up against it now. It's got to make some bait up. Map here if we can get sort of five bombs out over each zone. More than happy. Crumb in some 12 mil manilas to all the maggots. We've got some woodworm pellet, manila pellet, a bit of maize for a fleck of colour. All topped off with manila liquid. <laughs> oh god, I'm in such. I hate being in a rush, but what can you do? As the rods go out, they're out absolutely rocking. All three of them could not be happier. In these spots, I've seen quite a bit of bait now, so not massively fussed about getting too much out. It's pretty cold anyway, isn't it? Woo. Not the time here to be higher and loads of bait baiting. Like I said, not in a sort of 50, 60 acre pit with only 20, 30 fishing. <laughs> That's for sure. So he's in chops, 16 millers. I wouldn't generally put 16 millers out this time of year. I like to use small stuff. However, I've got 16 mil pop up hook baits on. So I'd like to have some out there just to sort of replicate it. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is all good. Rod's all clipped up, spod rod. So, shouldn't take too long. Is it? Maggots and 16s and 12s all mixed up. And we've got this pellet, corn budworm pellet, manila pellet, and a bit of maize. That's it. Get that in there and give it a good dose in. A little manila liquid. Job's a good one. Right, I've got to get this bait out rapido. Days. Rods are out. Literally got three wicked drops on them, and I got oh, put three spawns over that right hander on its own, and then I have got two rods on that left hand spot towards the poplars. I got four good spawns on it, one just off to the side. I'm happy with that. You know, um, that's plenty of bait. That is, you know, there's a lot of bits and bobs. Oh, there's a robin. Uh, there's plenty of bits and bobs I'm on that mix. Should get everything interested. Birds, little fish, and hopefully the big fish. We shall see, but yeah, it's only first night. Got myself in a good view here as well. That's a good thing about this swim. The fish that I'm after definitely likes this zone. I like this zone, and it's a mega view, you know. And I'm, I'm definitely not just gonna stick to this zone just because, you know, the, this is where the fish likes or this is where I've been putting bait or this is where I've been fishing this time of year I got I got to be on my toes just as much as any time of the year uh, then the fish sometimes might not want to get around a bit uh, not might not want to get around much at all this time of year so if they're isolated to a little area then I need to find where that area is if I see one I'm gonna be on the move be up at first light but yeah for now just gonna have a little munch healthy obviously quick brew or maybe a bottle maybe a bottle of beer and then uh, get me a down I'll be up here probably set an alarm for about midnight get up for a couple hours see if I hear anything and then yeah back up at first light so that's that first night on the big pit morning time is seven o'clock and it looks banging. I've been sat out about probably 45 minutes now. I should have gone, well I was going to go back to sleep, that was the plan I got up. Just half expecting to hear something. 
maybe in a while. Be good. Kettle's on. First brew of the day. Got to be a coffee. <laughs> So going right back into sort of mid-November, it was the start of November when I had the, the common over in Belgium at uh, 49. And after that, I haven't been doing any more European fishing. It's all been on here, dropping in, nights here, nights there, putting bait in a few whitey zones. Well, I say a few, there was two whitey zones, one down the other end of the pond and one in this swim here. Uh, I, was bait I baited them a good few times. Um, and it turned out that the, the one in the point swim, which I'm in now, started, it was definitely getting eaten. I could tell the spot was changing. I was getting a lot firmer donk on, on, on the drops, you know. I'd seen one fish show and heard a couple in the night, and it was all sort of coming good, uh, leading up into the start of December. And I did a, a, a free, I think it was a free night on a big wind. The big wind pushed in here, got in here, and it was all looking great. But the fish just didn't turn up. It almost felt like it, it, they didn't want to be on that wind. It was so warm as well, but they just didn't turn up. And eventually I ended up pulling off. And as it transpires a couple of days later, from what I can gather, um, and lad has, has turned up in here and seen the fish showing uh, out on the money by the sounds of it. I'm not 100% sure, but from what I can gather, it was out in the zone that I was fishing and baiting. Um, the lad did go on to catch the fish that I'm after, <laughs> which is obviously, it, it's a little bit sore, but however, that's carp fishing, you know, it doesn't always go right. Uh, you've got to take the positives from it. You know, I, I was I was close, you know, I was definitely in the right zone. It obviously been out on the bait, you know, them sort of things you've got to take from it. You know, that lad turned up and good angling, fair play to him, and he'd done, he'd done what, exactly what anyone should have done, really. See fish out in the zone, you're going to fish from, jobs are good. Uh, yeah, it come out, I think it was like £47 an ounce, something like that, or 40, upper 46 uh, But yeah, that, that sort of killed the winter sort of campaign on here that was sort of planning to have. I did have another tuition in December too, um, but I still planned on baiting this throughout. I thought, I've got to keep going, you know, I've got nothing else on. I really want to do winter on here. So, I, and I'm definitely doing the spring on here too, so why not? The conditions are so mild. After that, really, it's just been baiting on here, really. A couple of, couple of likely zones again. Still keeping the bait going on this spot. But I have, there has been fish caught in a, in a little bit of a different area of the lake. I've seen a few sort of signs of fish. I haven't seen anything major. I heard one in the night, sort of round to my right here. I did do the night in there uh, last week. Uh, and that sort of brings us up to present day, really. Last week when I left, I, uh, when did I leave now? It's sort of about four days ago. I baited this spot again and a couple of other spots, but it's this one. It's this one that seems to be the one. I'm just gonna maybe, unless I saw something absolutely golden to go on, I'm gonna sit it out in here, you know. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I'm not saying I'm just gonna bait and wait, so that's not really my type of fishing, unless I know that it's time to sit on your hands. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit on this spot because it's definitely an area that the fish are visiting. Like I say, the bait's getting cleaned up. I'm getting odd little signs that there's fish visiting, but nothing 100% yet. Hopefully, we shall see. Just to give you an idea of what this spot is that I'm fishing. So, ah, oh, me brew! <laughs> there's nothing worse than that. Look at that. Spilt me brew. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Um, yeah, <laughs> just give me an idea of this spot. Well, this swim that I'm fishing, sorry. Let me straighten this bad boy up. So over here to the right, there's an island and then there's a couple of bars that come. One comes this way, sort of the wars mill down to me right. One sort of comes across the front, um, but it stops around about here. There's a couple of little humps here that I found, nice. There's a bar that stops around here, and then as it sort of slopes off, got a big silty gully in line with these tall poplar trees here. Um, it, well, say silty gully, it was a silty gully. Just off the back of the bar, uh, or as the bar shelves off, it's like nine and a half foot of water, absolute mega zone. And uh, yeah, it was really silty. 
after a good sort of few weeks of steady baiting, and I say steady baiting, you know, eventually I was giving it a good bucket or so, um, because I could tell the bait was going, like I say, and the spot now is literally just pea gravel. There's little odd skids of silt in it, but there's a lot of gravel down there, and that sort of just tells me that them fish have been absolutely mooring it. Everything I've been putting out has been small bits and pieces. Uh, at first I was just fishing hinges over the top, uh, I am fishing hinges again now just because I feel like the spot has maybe started to dirty up again and there's a lot of weed drifting around here and there so I've just got to be confident that them rigs are fishing but yeah as soon as I start to feel that spot getting real real clean again I'm going to drop to the noodles get that rig on the deck uh, just camouflage it in with everything else as opposed to being real blatant sort of popped up in the faces but yeah that's, that's all I've been up to really N nothing major just, I haven't caught many fish um, the only thing that I haven't mentioned was, let's have a look, I'm looking there, a bit slanted, nah that'll do, um, yeah I went for New Year's Eve, uh, me being boring me, I know what's good for me, I didn't want to go out drinking and all that, it's just, it's just not good, you, just, you know you suffer with the hangovers, the older you get. So I went fishing, went and had a good social with uh, Nick over at Lynch and uh, we decided to turn it into a match because we have had a few matches in the past. Um, we've had a couple where we've drawn, we've had one where he was ahead anyway, he beat me, he caught a fish called the Chinese Common, we had a match on Willow, uh, that was back last year at some point and he was, he was definitely one ahead in matches. So we decided to turn it into a match over on Willow. Yeah, stroke social obviously for New Year's. A uh, couple, of, couple of tinnies, but nothing crazy. A bit of a fire on and that because it was pretty cold. But yeah, we went over there and it was a real quiet night on the first night. And then the second night, uh, sorry, the second day, I've heard a fish down to my right. I thought that sounded real close in, so I've wandered down there, got up the tree, and uh, the, yeah, I, got, I looked down. I couldn't believe it. You're talking two, three foot of water maximum, and it was just milky. I couldn't believe it, I thought they're here and I could just see shadows going through and I just thought, wow, that, what, how are they in this sort of shallow water? You know, on Willow, you know, I know fish are getting to shallow water at that time of year, however, on Willow it's a real deep pit, it does shut up, it's real weedy, you know, so it hasn't really got winter form. So to find them in that shallow water, I just thought, this is a, this is a bit of a godsend here, you know, I, and I'm not one to walk past an opportunity like that. So I've loaded a solid bag in there, just some pellet, no bloodworm pellet, manila pellet. Loaded it in and literally 10 minutes later the rod was away. Uh, and it was a 22 pound an ounce, it's common, but it was freezing cold, New Year's Day, to catch fish on New Year's Day. I've never done that, so especially on a place like Windchill, it's not easy. Uh, so I was buzzing with that. And that brought the match to, the, the, well, it was a win for me. And happy days, but we had a right laugh, it was good. Uh, yeah. That's it now. I think I've uh, recapped everything. Moving forward, roll on the spring. <laughs> Sorted, baited, spots baited. Literally left the rigs as they are. Both, they all, all three went down with absolute crack yesterday. The spot's quite big now, so I'm happy with them. They're all on hinges, I know they're all fishing. One got picked up by a bird earlier on, but I'm happy that that's reset. Uh, yeah, which you put about probably 10 spawns over the top of that spot. Did put two or three spawns over the top of the right hand spot as well, but just wanted to keep that bait going in there. I'm pretty certain that the um, fish, fish visited me this morning just because a couple of birds went down, which he came up and shot off. And then with tufties as well, they're quite hardy. So when they when they shoot off, you usually know that it's caught. There's a lot of, lots, a lot of bits and bobs out there, so. Uh, there's, a, there's a good chance he could come back um, and there's definitely enough out there to keep him feeding so he should definitely return if they visited me this morning everything looks absolutely spot on look at this out here uh, the wind let's have a look at what we got the wind is literally just dropping off now I put that bait out in the wind to be fair that's why I dropped to the medium bomb. but yeah like I say I put about I'd say about 10 on the, this left hand spot, straight towards them poplars there, every single one went smack on its left hand side and right hand side of them poplars. 
can see where the sweat's coming up still now. Yeah, um, absolutely bang on it went. Everyone hitting the clip. Took a couple of steps forward as well on a few of them. Um, just, just to get some bait at the back of the spot as well. I always do that. Just take a couple of steps forward and you're just spreading that bait. I never take a step backwards because I don't want to put bait on my lines, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's all looking good now. That wind's been blowing for the sort of last 12 hours and then it's stopped. Never know, I might even see a couple of show in this, you know, but it's that time of year where I could keep saying, oh, what was that out near the boy then? Right next to that second boy. Just short. See if anything comes up there now. Oh, yeah. There's that one. It does me head in that. What was that? Keep seeing bits now. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Ah, oh, another bed. Never mind. <laughs> right, yeah, but I am going to get in the water now and watch the, watch the water because you could quite easily see some show now. Wind's gone off, everything's absolutely bang on. I've decided to pack away, as you can see. <laughs> gonna head over to Linear, I think. Not gonna go on braids, no though, where Tom is, but yeah, uh, packed down on the big pond now. Just baited up, got everything sorted because I've got a couple more days. I've got till Saturday if I want it, but yeah, I'm gonna head over to Linear. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna go on to. On to um, Bray's nose where Tom is. I, I ain't doing that. But there's a good chance of a possible bite on uh, on the manor where Kempers is. So gonna have a head over there. It's a little bit closer to home, um, and definitely a better chance of a bite. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm giving up on this place. I just know when when something's not happening. You know, I've had the best couple of days. One sec. Had the best couple of days of conditions I could have asked for possibly and it just hasn't happened you know I've seen very little um, and sometimes you can just be wasting your time so I'm not one of them sort of people that, that minds moving on going somewhere else somewhere like Linear I love Linear you know uh, sort of cut my teeth on there I've had loads of fish from there so heading over to Oxford gonna have a few fish hopefully we'll see and uh, yeah, report back soon <laughs> Oxford bound only about so 40 minutes from, from Reading. I haven't spoke to Make here, I haven't told him I'm coming. Like I said, he is on uh, he is on Bray's nose. Uh, and I'd much, definitely much rather be on somewhere like the manor, especially with Kemp is working around them, up and around that 50 pound mark. That's definitely something that's enticing me. Uh, but I've got to see how busy it is because if it's busy or I can't get on fish or where I think the fish are. I definitely will just go over with Makey, you know, I don't mind just having a social, chilling out, and catching a few fish, maybe, and uh, yeah, having a laugh. That's what it's about. You've got to enjoy fishing. Some people, you know, each to their own, obviously, but some people get well caught up in a mad sort of hype, you know. It's mate fishing what you want it to be, isn't it? You know, if you enjoy just getting a bend in the rod or having a laugh, just getting away from the missus and that, having barbecues or whatever. As long as you've got fish care, all that matters. Like I say, I'm gonna head straight over to the manor, have a look about, see if I can get myself a swim, chuck a bucket in or what have you, and then go over and see Thomas. <laughs> How's this for a change of scene? Bit of the old manor. I like this swim as well. I've actually seen one already. Rattle out in the middle. Absolute ziggy show. Looks bang on for a zig. Everything's just screaming zigs. I'd like to get them on the bait if I can, but that one was definitely ziggy stuff. So I'm probably gonna start on the zigs. I've only got a couple hours if that, and I've got to change everything over on my end tackle or what. Obviously I've been been over on the big pit. Now I'm totally changing method, so I'm not gonna mess around, I'm gonna get the gear and get over here. What was matey next door's just had one. Double I'd say. Nice one though, good to see one on the bank. First fish I've seen in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm rocking. I've just been literally flicking zigs, just flicked a few zigs out. Nothing mental. Um, don't really know the depth out here, so I was playing around a little bit, but I think I've got it right now. Not too sure what I'm going to do for the night, though. We'll see. I know I'm definitely doing a kebab. <laughs> Standard. When in Oxford and all that. Yeah, looks well, good, though. I'll forget a bite before night, that'll be good.
see a few fish out there today. All ziggy stuff, like I said earlier. Yeah, I put, did put initially three rods out on zigs. And literally, I swear to you, as soon as I got rods out, the conditions totally changed. It flattened off, the wind stopped, this, the, uh, it went clear sky. It's just everything went against the conditions. Uh, well, definitely put the fish off anyway. Stop seeing any activity. So I decided to just get the wedding rod out. I had to get the wedding rod out straight away when I got in the swim. Um, just to find a spot because I was always going to plan on putting a little bit of bait in just keep my eye on I wasn't technically going to fish it um, just it, 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 if the fish stayed on the zigs I'd have just been on the zigs and keeping me on the bait but because the conditions sort of deteriorated I thought I've got to get one on the bait got to put one on bait at least uh, because the thing is, is I'm here basically the, the one fish that I would want to catch would be Kempis and I just don't think that that fish is going to get caught on a zig, you know. Although all fish do, I just think you've got a lot better chance of catching it on the deck. So, got one out on the deck. So six bombs of bait over the top. Real accurate as well. Every single one on the money. Rig went down with a crack. It's fishing. And then, uh, yeah, I've got two, two on the old zigs. So, we'll see what happens there. Literally just first night. I just put one in the bag. She is down there, you won't be able to see her, so it's coming light. Woo. It's the only rod that was on the bait as well. So I'm quickly, I'm literally just going to get this fish out, get that rod sorted and get it back out on the bait. A couple more spawns over the top. Bear with me. The rig's back out on the bait. Didn't bother putting any, any bait back out, because I did give it sort of six bombs yesterday. And I think there should be a little bit of bait there. Might top it up in a little bit. Which we one cast it was out. Um, I did see one show on the left hand side. Just past that point on the left hand side you can see there. Round of it here on that wind line. Look real ziggy. So um yeah I brought brought one of my zigs in from straight out there, I haven't done anything all night. Chopped it down a bit because I know it to be a little bit shallow over there, I put it as a six footer. I wanged it over there, which we went straight on that wind line so. And I've got a zig on the left, a zig on the right, and I've got me one on the deck in the middle. Yeah, got one in the bag. I will cut up. She is safe and sound. Yeah. Soaking. Let her recover for a minute, like this rain or snow. It's been snowing. Can't believe it. Ugh. Yeah. Let this go off. I'm gonna get mate from next door doing me some pickies. Come on. Yay. Oh. Every time. Sorry. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get the big deal. Oh mate, he's in next door. Mate is going to obviously punish him for information. Obviously on the left hander, the one that's in my water. <laughs> Go on Danny lad. Easy. I have moved. Moved down into Peg Bar. One of the lads bought me a McDonald's, which is happy days. Sun's blind him. Yeah, I've just come down into Peg Bar. There we go. Just whack three zigs out. Pull out into that open water zone there. Oh, go on then. Mm. But yeah, just stabbing me mackers and I'm going to set up camp. I think it's all still packed away. I'm going to do the night here. The fish definitely seem to have moved to the right. So I've moved with them. Yeah, I'm seeing the odd little bits of bobs going on. So, 
Yeah, doing it. Pretty much ready to go now. Found a couple of spots. Can't choose between the two, so I'm gonna fish a rod on each. Well, two rods on one. Uh, just over 18, and then one on its own, just over 19. Hinge. Now going one, and then a hinge and a noodle on the other. Oh yeah. All clipped up, ready to go, just waiting for a little dip in this wind. Then we is rocking. There's a swim. Just waiting for that sun to get out of my eye line as well. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, gonna give him a bit of bait tonight. This is definitely fishing for Kempis. You know, I think I could get bites on bags and things like that, but I think fishing this way, definitely a bit more sort of big carp fishing, <laughs> if you like. Uh, social tonight, another takeaway, kebab no doubt. <laughs> Eggy lid. Tram lines. Same postcode then, bad boys. Quiet last night. Been up since first light. Seen one fish. Quite short to be fair. To me left. Between me and me next door. Yeah, very little. What's cold though? Frost on the old landing that and that. A little bit frosty. All frosty knickers. <laughs> <sighs> What's going on with the old focus? I reckon it dropped to about zero last night. Mm. The problem is, I need a little bit of wind for the zigs. I always found flat calm and ain't great. Just gives them that little bit of cover. Probably gets them zigs moving around a bit. Hopefully, this wind will pick up a little bit. We shall see. Getting the old zig glass prepped. I'm gonna switch these to all black though. Three different lengths, I've gone seven, eight, nine, I've got about between 10 and 12 foot of water in front of me. So I'm just gonna do them seven, eight, nine. Whack them sort of out into that central zone. That's the one really. That's what I'm going for. Not just yet, I think there's still a good chance of a bite on the deck. But all prepped, ready to go. Take me two minutes to change them over. I only really think the time's right. We're not far off really. I've had a couple of birds dive on me, straight on the spot. They're coming straight up and going back down, no problem. Nothing saying that there's fish in the zone or anything. Yeah, as soon as that sun starts poking out, which it is doing in a minute, I reckon the zigs could definitely be the one with this little bit of rip over the top of them. Start seven, eight, nine. See if we get any action. If not, I'll go up a little bit more. Ziggies are out. Rocking. Just put seven, eight, nine foot. Staggered them all across the swim pretty much. Slightly left sort of around where all the birds are over here. Yep. Only between sort of 80 and 100 yards. Just uh, playing around with them, really. That's, a, that's the beauty of the old zigs. Have a play around. See what happens. Nice now this wind's kicked on, but it is an easterly. Not very nice at all. <sighs> See how this goes for the day. If nothing happens, I'm going to wrap up. 
go home and have a nice chilled weekend.